So here's the median section of the melt pelvis on the green board. For reference, let's start with number one, the pubic bone. Number four, of course, is the urinary bladder. And again, we have the rectum and the external anal sphincter. Just below the urinary bladder is the prostate gland at number five. And number seven is a seminal vesicle. Dropping down, we have the testes. Number 15 is a singular testis here, and 11 is the penis. The glands, number 12 at the end, would normally be sheathed in the prepuce, or foreskin. And a bonus tip, number 13 is the external urethral orifice. Now inside the penis, we have the larger corpus cavernosum, one of a pair. The number 14 is a little hidden, and number 10 is the corpus spongiosum, which is easy because it surrounds the spongy, or penile, urethra. You can follow these back to the root of the penis, where the corpus cavernosum forms, tapers off at the crust of the penis, and the corpus spongiosum ends at the bulb. Now, let's look again at this one testis here. Around that is the epididymis, number 16, and the pampiniform plexus is labeled with the 17 up here. 18 is listed as the testicular artery, and along here, number 19, is the cream master muscle. Although it's not clear or labeled on this model, this is the skin of the scrotum, the tunica vaginalis, and the deep tunica albuginea surrounding the testes. Now before we break this apart, remember, this is the urinary bladder, and this tube coming out of here is the left ureter draining from the kidney. The right ureter is labeled number nine back here. Again, here's the prostate gland and the seminal vesicle. Right behind the seminal vesicle is the ampulla of the ductus or vas deferens number eight, which you can see here and here. The vas deferens continue from the ampulla up and around the urinary bladder and with the spermatic cord through the inguinal canal and back down to the epididymis. Of course, we have the urinary bladder from the inside and the urethra coming down here. Passing through the prostate gland is the prosthetic part of the male urethra. You can't see the intermediate or membranous urethra on this model, but it would be located around here. The membranous urethra is the shortest section of the urethra. It's surrounded by sphincter muscles formed by the deep muscles of the perineum passing through the urogenital diaphragm in here. If we take off part of the seminal vesicle, you can see where the seminal vesicle duct meets with the vas deferens to form the ejaculatory duct, which comes in the prosthetic urethra. Going back to the base, you can see the other side of the prostate here, the prosthetic urethra again, the ejaculatory duct, and the vas deferens. This is everything from the male reproductive model of the median section of the male pelvis on the green base.